Do you hear something? What? There's someone else here? We gotta hide! Just a security guard. Uh, of course I don't. We already know it's not a ghost. And besides, I'm not that afraid of... <coughs> M my phone! Why now? And of course, it's just spam. I mean, that would freak most people out, right? Come on, the thing just rang out of nowhere. Uh, what? That's not funny, you know. one really let me see yeah this is it I'm sure they won't mind if we borrow this okay let's go we're supposed to meet up with everyone in the main hallway Did you find the key? Sure did. You know, I heard a scream that sounded kind of familiar. Huh? Wait, you actually did? I was just kidding. You want to take this outside? Guys, come on. All right, we'll divide into teams again. Three of you will enter Tartarus, and one of you will remain outside with me. Once the dark hour begins, I'll pinpoint Yamagishi's position. I'm going in. You come too. You can take the lead as usual. Uh, then I'll be the third. Wait a second, Yukatani. Remember how I accidentally screwed up on the monorail? Give me a chance to make up for that. Oh, come on. It's not always about you. Besides, you didn't accidentally screw up. All right, Junpei, we'll give you another shot. And with that, the teams are set. Sweet. Thanks. What? What's wrong, Takeba? Do you have a problem staying with Mitsuru? Uh, no, no. It's fine. It's almost time. Let's go. Transmission range is at max, too. Uh, I hope that girl Moriyama is okay at the dorm. Unfortunately, no place is completely safe in the dark hour. But we couldn't risk bringing her here. And having one of us stay behind to watch her wasn't an option either. Yeah, I guess so. We are all here for Yamagishi-san's sake. Hello. Can you help me? I'm here. I've confirmed your position. You're higher up than I expected. You're barely in communication range. Is everyone all right? I don't know. 
That's separate. Akihiko. Come in, Akihiko. Uh, is he out of range? That's worrying. First time we've spoken outside of your room. Don't worry, you'll see them soon. But we don't have much time to talk. Tonight, there is more than one ordeal you must face. You should hurry. She's waiting for you. You guys will need her. See you. I hope we meet again. Man, we were worried about you. I don't think we should enter Tartarus this way again. Oh, yeah. Did you hear a voice on your way here? Yeah, kind of like... Who's there? Are you... human? 
That's it! That's the voice! Wait, didn't that come from behind us? <sighs> Are you Fuka Yamagishi? Yes! Wow! You're alive! That's awesome! Never fear, the heroes are here! Good to see you're okay. Come with us. Thank you so much. I... Y yes I'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just so relieved. Looks like I made the right call then. I'll see if I can contact Mitsuru. What is this place? One second I was at school, and then... Uh, it's kind of a long story. We can explain after we get out of here. Mitsuru, can you hear me? Hmm, no good. All I hear is static. Oh, are you hurt anywhere? You've probably seen the monsters wandering around, right? So, there is something dangerous in here then. I've gotten by without them finding me so far. Wait, you've avoided them this entire time? How is that possible? Um, it's hard to describe, but I can sort of tell where they are. What do you mean? Are you saying you're psychic or something? She has the same power as Mitsuru, actually. She might be even stronger. Mitsuru's persona is always more combat-focused to begin with. Persona? Hang on to this. Huh? W wait, is this... is this a gun? Think of it as a lucky charm. It doesn't actually fire bullets. Um, okay. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, check out the moon. It's huge. I don't think I've ever seen it so bright. There's some research that indicates the shadows are affected by the phases of the moon. Although the same thing is true about humans. That would explain Yucatan's mood swings. Hey, wasn't it a full moon the night we went to the monorail? Hmm? It was. Uh, is something wrong? Hey, did you see the moon on the night the dorm was attacked back in April? Today is June 8th. The monorail incident happened on May 9th. And the assault in the dorm was on April 9th. They were all on a full moon. Mitsuru, are you there? Uh, Eagle, shut those up. Hey, can you hear me? Mitsuru, come in. Be careful. Mitsuru? Mitsuru! What is that? It's much bigger than the others. And it's attacking someone! Damn it! What the hell's going on? I'm totally lost here! It's one of them. My guess is right. They come every full moon. We've gotta hurry! Hey! Wait for me! What? Two of them? Mitsuru! Takeba! <laughs> What's going on? Nothing's working! Sonata-san! Gotta draw the shadows away! Yeah, I'm on it. Hey, if it's a fight you want, then you've got it! Akihiko, be careful. Normal attacks don't work on them. I... I 
had to tell you. I'm sorry. Hey! Look out! I have to protect her. Yamagishi san? A persona? I can see. I. I can see these monsters' weaknesses. Can it be? Just as I thought. Mitsuru, let her take her place. We'll handle these guys. for the monster's weaknesses. Please, give me some time.
Looks like I'm getting even stronger! Are there more of them? Don't worry. It's over. Luca... You... Are you okay? Yeah... Oh, thank goodness... It's all right. She's just exhausted. Uka... Uka... I... Where did those two shadows come from? Somewhere outside of Tartarus. Just like with the dorm and the monorail. Outside, huh? Uh, what are we gonna do about Moriyama-san? She knows about the Dark Hour and the shadows. It doesn't matter. She's not like us, so she won't remember anything that happens in the Dark Hour. The good news is, she didn't fall victim to the Shadows despite hearing their call. So I don't think she'll get drawn in again. She's safe now. But doesn't that mean she'll forget Yamagishi-san saved her life? That doesn't seem right. Actually, I get the feeling that things will work out. I'm sorry, Buka. I'm so sorry. It looks like she's learned her lesson. I'm sorry!
Good morning. Out of here. Take it easy. Good hustle out there. You'd better wrap up too. See you next practice. Whoa! What's up? I was just gonna sneak back into practice. Am 
My mom's been on my case. She took me to the hospital. She insisted after I told her about my knee. She made the appointment without telling me, so there was nothing I could do. You said it. I don't get why my mom and the rest of the team are acting like this. It's exhausting having everyone up in your business. Today they took some x-rays. They'll give me the results in a few days. Not sure why that has to take so long. Oh, hey! Don't tell anyone about me going to the hospital, right? I'm counting on you. I feel bad for always asking you to keep things quiet. Sorry about that. Doctor told me to take it easy today, but you should still get to practice. Oh, wait, if you're leaving, that means practice is already over. Well, guess I'll just go home. See ya.
next topic. How many times do I have to explain it? It's like I'm talking to a moron. Why would you even accuse me? The cigarette butt was in the boys' bathroom, right? Then can you prove it wasn't a girl who brought it and left it there? <sighs> with that logic, this is never gonna end. I'm done with this. You're on your own. To Neanderthals. Try not to hold it against them. They think like children. They just can't help it. Sooner or later, they'll see the light. Then I'll earn their trust, and they'll learn to respect me. I don't mean to isolate myself. I'm just remaining detached. Someone always gets hurt in any relationship sooner or later. I suppose I've gone on long enough. I, I apologize. Point in having a meeting today if no one else is here. Let's go.
Emiri is... oh, that's Ms. Kano's first name. Anyway, Emiri's really popular with the guys. And I kind of took her away from them, you know? Like she became my girl before they even had a chance. Turns out Emiri's a really strict teacher when it comes to grades. At home, though, she's a real sweetheart. I love how her attitude changes when she's with me. Yeah, good-looking people just flock together, you know? It's like a law of attraction. I know, right? It's like we're actually in a TV show. Anyway, what about you? Make any progress with Takeba-san? I feel guilty hogging all the happiness, so I'm gonna wish for you to be happy too. And hey, don't tell anyone about me and Emiri, okay? Because teachers aren't allowed to date students. I only told you because I trust you. Look at the time. I'm way behind on my favorite show. Well, I guess that's because real life is way better than any show right now. So, you're Fukuyama Gishikun, right? Y yes <laughs> Relax, there's no need to be nervous. Go on and have a seat. Uh, okay. I just want to quickly mention that everyone did an excellent job uncovering the truth. Uh, and one other thing to report. I've heard that all three girls have regained consciousness. That's great news! From what I understand, they each came to the school around midnight and waited for the security guard to leave. Then, once the dark hour began, they were attacked by shadows near the gate. Because of the situation's similarities to an old ghost story, rumors naturally spread quickly. I knew right from the beginning that it wasn't a ghost. It's all my fault. What? Where'd you get that from? You were the victim in all this. All of those rumors started because I was absent for so long. That's totally not your fault. I don't think we could have won that fight if you hadn't been there. You saved our lives. That's not something just anyone could have done. Take pride in that. You have a special power that you can use to help others. A special power? We call it Persona. And right now, our group absolutely needs your abilities. Can we count on you to help us? Are you asking me to join you? That's right. Yuricho-senpai. <sighs> I think you'd make a good addition to the team, too. Sanada-senpai. You know we're not trying to pressure you. So if you need some time to think about it, Do it. It would be my honor. What? Are you sure? If you do join, you'll have to move into the dorm. That's fine. I'd rather live here than at home anyway. Thank you. We really appreciate this. We'll have the school talk to your parents to resolve any issues. Okay. Thank you. Wait a minute. Aren't we dragging her into this a bit fast? Um, it's okay. Really. One other topic I'd like to discuss is those special shadows. We had another encounter this month. While we still don't know where they're coming from, I do believe Sanada-kun is right. They seem to appear alongside the full moon. This, at least, will help us plan for the future. So, next full moon is showtime, huh? 
Knowing when to expect them is a big advantage for us. Now, on the day of the fight, we'll be ready to get in the ring. <sighs> Morning. Mr. Okoda's in hot water. Really? What'd he do? I don't know, but I think it's serious. Sexual harassment, maybe? <laughs> I can totally see that. Uh, um, good morning. <sighs> hey, look! It's the ghost girl! Quiet, she can hear you! Fuka, you're here. Moriyama-san? I heard you started living in the dorms. Yes. You're looking glum today, as usual. Well, if you got something on your mind, you can always talk to me. You could probably use a friend, huh? Moriyama-san. Come on, you don't gotta be so stiff. Just call me Natsuki. Thank you.
Whoa! And I keep running into you at the weirdest times. You remembered what we talked about last time. Nothing gets past you, eh? So, yeah. I just got back from the hospital. They had the results from my last exam. And, well, I... Ah! You gotta be kidding! Why can't I stand up? <laughs> Thanks. Funny, huh? All from just crouching down to tie my shoes. The thing you were around. If it were anyone else, and the rest of the team would have found out. Thanks, man. I'm really grateful to have you as a friend. train by myself. Even if practice is over, can't skip out on training. Big meat's not that far off. You're heading home, right? Then we'll train together next time. Take it easy. You've prevailed yet again. Do you remember what I said before? About everything coming to an end? Well, I recalled something else. I'm pretty sure the end is unavoidable. But it's kind of weird. It doesn't feel that inevitable right now. Considering the vast potential inside you. Plus, it seems like your powers changed quite a bit. Hey. If you don't mind, can I be your friend? I'm really curious about you. What do you say? Name? Oh, I see. I need a name. My name is... Pharaohs. I know we'll get along great. I 
and thou, thou art I, thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the death archive. Well, it's getting late, so I'm going now. I can hardly wait until the next time we meet. Bye-bye. Good morning. I know this is sudden, but the chairman will be coming by again this evening. I'd like everyone to gather at the usual place tonight. He just came by the other day. Something happened? Apparently, he's prepared some special gifts for us. I know it'll be busy with Yamagishi moving into the dorm, but I'd appreciate it if you could all come by. Special? Does that mean we can expect something good? I don't know. This is Ikutsuki-san we're talking about. He's probably just gonna tell us some new joke he made up. appetizers excuse me sir two bowls of the usual today and as always make sure one of them is extra large coming right up once you taste this my friend there is no going back ton 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 noodles yes that's three count them three tons this is the crown jewel of the secret menu here. Even better than the Hagakure bowl! The simple salt-based broth complemented by the rich, spicy miso sauce. It's like a microcosm of the miracle of creation! The 
It's all about that secret menu. Although, how will people find it if it's too secret? Eh, whatever. The harder I think about it, the hungrier I'm gonna get. Oh, sir! Don't toss out that first bowl, all right? That soup and I have unfinished business. This is a huge honor for you, you know? You're only the second person to taste this after me. Don't forget to blow on the noodles to cool them off. guy you are. I mean, you get to be friends with me. And just so you know, you wouldn't be getting this with my younger brother. Because the Gourmet King's brother is not the Gourmet King. So, do you get me, hmm? Who am I? Go on, I want to hear it come out of your mouth. My word, not so loud! Are you trying to embarrass me? Here, have some of my boiled egg. I had a couple of bites, but it's still good. Then no more talking. The food's gonna be a chewy, flavorless mess if we don't eat up. Sir, sir, you saved that first bowl, right? Cause I'm gonna be needing it. Yamagishi-san, are you in there? Yes, come in. I think we should start heading to the command room and... Huh? You already finished unpacking? I was planning on helping you out later, too. Well, I didn't have too much with me, so... I finished a lot sooner than I expected. Oh, are you good with computers by any chance? You think you could teach me? I'm really not good with stuff like that. Sure, if you'd like me to. Are you looking into something? Yes. I figured I should know everyone's defining characteristics and whatnot to prepare for battle. I can't do any actual fighting, so I need to make myself useful. Oh, I see. You're a really hard worker, Yamagishi-san. And you've got an amazing ability, too. Now that I think about it, Everyone in this dorm is pretty amazing, huh? Sonata Senpai is hands down one of the strongest. And our leader has a power unlike anyone else's. I bet Kirijo Senpai is strong too. And Junpei... Well, he's... whatever. But what do I have? I'm only half the person everyone else here is. I couldn't even do anything the last full moon. Maybe I don't need to be here after all. <laughs> That's not true at all. Huh? I was told that a persona is the power of the soul, also known as your other self. That's why I think a person's personality and feelings are reflected in their persona. For example, Takeba-san, your persona has healing powers, right? That's because there's a kindness in you that no one else has. Uh, I'm not kind at all. I just don't want to see anyone go down or get hurt, that's all. <laughs> Come on. I think akutsuki sounds gonna be here soon. Oh, and you can just call me Yukari. I hope you like it here, Fuka. I'm sure I will. Thank you, Yukari-chan. Sorry for calling you all again so soon, but I brought something special today. Well... Let me just show you before I get into explaining what it is. Oh. I'd like to provide you with some new equipment. After spending quite some time in development, we're now ready for the battle testing phase. The shadows are getting stronger. You just barely won the last battle. You can only assume they'll grow even more powerful still. That's why you all need something more to stay in the fight. From now on, I want everyone to use these during your operations. 
combat gear, complete with a matching armband. And your new trump card in the battle against the shadows. Cartridges that enable the use of theurgy. Theurgy means spiritual magic that could reach the gods in Greek. To put it simply, it synchronizes with the user's emotions, and when the right conditions are met, allows them to unleash an attack of immense power. Oh, you're talking about signature attacks. Oh yeah, I've been waiting for something like this. Okay, how does it work? Well, about that, it's a bit difficult to explain. I think it might be easier if you just try it out for yourselves. Oh, don't worry about that. It's been well tested and determined completely safe. I'm sure you'll get a chance to see it in action as you continue your battles. Oh, there's a manual for it as well. Take a look at it if you feel the need. Well, I'm sure glad I made it in today. With Yamagishi-kun joining us, Kirijo-kun can go back to being a frontline fighter. That means Seize is going to have a new lineup after today. And what better time than now to roll out this new weapon? Don't you agree? Oh, would you look at the time? I'd like to talk more about this, but I've been quite busy with the investigation into those large shadows. I think we're on the verge of a breakthrough, though, so I'll be sure to let you know what we find out soon. Okay, I'm leaving the rest to you, Kirijo-kun. And there he goes. I sort of thought this before, but he's rather laid back, isn't he? More like airless. It's fine. You should just give it a go like the chairman said. In fact, since everyone's already here, now might be the best opportunity. Let's head into Tartarus and try out our new equipment. I've been wanting to get back into the swing of things anyway. And this will serve as a good test of our team lineup with Yamagishi as backup. How does that sound? Man, this trump card stuff is getting me so pumped up. I'm gonna be all like, take this, super ace dude pay attack. Or something like that. I'm a little nervous since it's my first time, but I'll follow your lead. All right, we'll go into Tartarus once everyone is geared up. Understood. Could you at least wear it like you're supposed to? Oh, but it does look like everyone's outfits are a bit different. Each one is made to complement our physiques and fighting styles. They were testing the prototype out on me. But it feels even better than it did before. It's very light and sturdy. I wonder if it's the same materials they use in the military, or maybe even the ones for spacesuits. Seems like this armband isn't just for decoration either. According to the manual, there are a bunch of different features built into it. For example, it can give you a readout of your vitals. Hmm, what else? 
There's also a function that notifies you when you can use your theurgy? Sorry, it doesn't look like there's much information about that. All I can tell is that you load the cartridge into your evoker to use it. Then let's make that our objective for today. Make sure to stay alert, everyone. All right, Yamagishi. You're going to be our backup, just like I mentioned before. This time, I'll be joining the rest of you in battle. I'm going too. I gotta make sure my skills are still sharp. Me too! All right. Then including our leader, that will be our team. Wait! I wanna go too! I was so ready for this! You can't just put me on standby! We can't go without our leader. You stay here and support Yamagishi. Oh, really? When you put it that way, how can I refuse? Don't worry, Fuka. Nothing's getting past me. Uh, okay. There he goes again. Fuka, if it gets too dangerous, just leave him behind. And don't be afraid to smack him if he tries anything funny. Okay. Got it. Huh? You get it? Yamagishi, could you scout the area and find a good floor for us to start on? Okay. <sighs> it seems different in here from before. Well, that's nothing new, right? No, not like that. It seems distorted. It's probably just temporary. I'll try and find a stable floor for us to start on. You can tell that much already? Wow, Fuka. It could be because we didn't enter the usual way last time. Or because of those huge shadows. We have no idea what's gonna happen in here. Not that I'm complaining, though. All right, let's go. Oh, that new sword looks pretty cool. And this bow I got is really light and looks pretty easy to use. I can't wait to see it in action. So the chairman got us all new weapons too, huh? Guess we should be thanking him. He barely explained anything, though. Sometimes I can't tell if he's actually helpful or not. All of this has been custom made for us. You can tell because of the C's mark engraved on everything. As always, you're in command. And make sure to check the equipment before we get started. Success. <laughs> by all means, by all means, I will await a report of success. Oh, yes. By all means. Very well then. Welcome to the Velvet Room.
Registering persona. Will you register it to the compendium? I've completed registration. I twitch. Will you choose? Very well. We look. Looks like we're here. Yamagishi, do you copy? Yes, I'm here. Are you picking up any shadows? Um, it looks like there's one close by. Be careful. All right, let's head over there and feel things out. Roger that. I'm always ready. Leader, are you ready? Then let's go. We've got the upper hand. The analysis. Pull the trigger! 
Everything went well. Fuka, you were amazing! Great job! Thank you, Yukari-chan. I still send some enemies nearby. Keep an eye out if you decide to engage them. Oh, we're engaging them, all right. This is your chance for an all-out attack! 
I no longer detect any shadows. All the ones on this floor have been defeated. It's all coming back to me. It would be wise for me to keep battling. Let's keep going then. Let's head to the stairs that lead up. Some kind of powerful shadow? No, it's... It feels similar to the distortion I felt earlier. Roger. Let's move carefully and assess the situation when we get upstairs. on this floor so they separated us by force there's danger lurking in this darkness we need to regroup as soon as possible Yamagishi can you guide us Where should I go if I want to? <gasps> Yukari-chan, look out! Gun wounds, 
you okay? I'm sorry. It was all my fault. Thanks, but you shouldn't be so reckless. Takeba, later! Looks like you both are okay. Sorry I worried everyone. It's all right. You did well in handling an unexpected situation. <sighs> Maybe we should consider starting over. Let's head back to the entrance for now. Good work out there, team! I'm sorry. I should have been able to navigate better. I agree. I'm convinced that you're the one we need on support. Yeah, thanks a lot, Fuka. I didn't do anything. It was all you, Yukari-chan. That special attack sure was cool, though, Yukatan. How'd you do it? How? I just focused really hard and thought to myself, I have to do whatever it takes. And while I was thinking that, I kind of felt something surging inside me. The chairman did say the cartridge would synchronize with our emotions. Right. Although... I'm still not entirely sure how it works. From what I could tell, it reacted to Yukari-chan's strong emotions. So this weapon gives the user strength beyond their limits when their emotions are heightened? Uh, I don't really get it. But basically, if we're fired up enough, we can really pop off, right? And thanks to you, Yukari-chan, we have a good idea of how it works. From now on, I should be able to tell when someone can use theirs. I, I didn't do much. I just got lucky. I don't know much more than anyone else. I'll do more research into how the sinking with emotions works later. Everyone has different feelings when they're fighting. So the timing on when they can use these will probably be different too. I'd like to give it a go myself. But we should call it a day for now. We can't overwork our leader, and we've got some time until the next full moon. I'm a little worried about the change with the floors, though. What if something like that happens again? Yes. If something has changed in the tower, we'll need to be extra careful when exploring from now on. In any case, we may have had some problems, but we learned a lot today. Not only did we get to test our new lineup and equipment, but we also got to see that we're all improving at a remarkable pace. Aw, Kiricho-senpai! Quit buttering me up. Just leave everything to Junpei Iori, the soon-to-be MVP. Maybe I shouldn't be the one to say this, but you literally didn't do anything today. This is Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey. I'm going to do it. Good, good. Not bad, kid. Thanks, kid. Bye bye.
I think. Let me think. Accepting a request? Most excellent. Now, you have my thanks. <laughs> Come to. I will await a report of success. Wonderful. If I may say. I have a request. <laughs> of course. By all means. Very well then. I'm looking forward to... Are you accepting a request? Wonderful. Is that true? Very well.